Hello, and welcome to our review of the Norwegian Escape from Norwegian Cruise Line, a larger evolution of the Norwegian Breakaway and Norwegian Getaway before her, this time around with whole art by Guy Harvey. We thank you for tuning in to Popular Cruising, as well as our co-presenter, Travel Pulse, home to my regular written cruise articles. The Norwegian Escape has a staggering array of accommodations on board, starting with spacious inside staterooms, and well-outfitted standard bathrooms, common to most cabins, complete with sizable showers that are easy to navigate. A special variety of inside cabins are the studio staterooms, accommodating solo passengers with a modular design and separate shower and toilet compartments, plus a studio lounge, exclusive to guests booked therein. Of course, passengers can step up to a balcony stateroom as well, with their characteristic private verandas. Almost identical, but available larger in size, are the family mini-suites with balconies. And seen here featuring a longer room with a longer sofa is the spa mini-suite with balcony. Also outfitted with a larger and more luxurious bathroom. The Haven Spa Suite with balcony cleverly features a bathtub in the living room, plus a larger bathroom with a shower. And other than being more spacious in general, the Haven Family Villa with balcony features two bedrooms, including a plush master and a luxurious and scenic bathroom. Increasing in size again is the Haven Owner Suite with balcony, with an even grander master bedroom and palatial bathroom, with a tub and ample shower, not to mention its expansive balcony. But increasing in size yet again is the Haven Deluxe Owner Suite, featuring stunning views right off from the bedroom, as well as from the luxurious bathroom, with a tub, dual sinks, and separate shower and toilet compartments, and an even more massive balcony. Haven accommodations, of course, come with exclusive access to the ship within a ship facilities, such as this beautiful lounge, and grand outdoor courtyard with pool, jacuzzis, loungers, and even its own spa rooms, all under a retractable macrodome roof. Also up top is the exclusive courtyard sun deck, with yet another jacuzzi and loungers for sun worshippers, and those wishing to take in the passing views. The Haven also includes its own restaurant to enjoy exclusive meals in this handsome setting, either indoors or outside for an alfresco dining experience. Regardless of the accommodations chosen, there are plenty of fun activities to go around for everyone, like the triple-decker ropes course with zip rails. and planks to safely step out over the side of the ship. It's an impressively challenging complex, to say the least. Or if you prefer to stay more firmly planted on the ground, mini-golf is just below, with its industrial rooftop theming. And in the middle of it all is the sports complex, for full-court gaming. And for diverse water fun, the Aqua Park has you covered. With a number of water slides. The most thrilling of which are still these freefall varieties that gain so much momentum that they have an uphill section as well. And for those less daring, the family friendly twister slide is still quite fun. If only to get a really cool view of the other slides above. And new to the Norwegian Escape is this tandem raft slide to race along other riders through clear tube sections and kaleidoscopic lighting effects that even sense and react to your passing. Sections of the tube even widen out to see if you can pass the riders in front of you. All before a final splashdown. The Kids Aqua Park has the young ones specifically in mind, with its own interactive water elements and water slides. There are also a number of pools on board, like this one sometimes below the shade of the water slides. And near the marketplace and double-decker bars is the more frequented main pool and jacuzzis.
since the pools get very busy. It's nice to see extra deck space to spread the crowds around above it. In fact, the public sun deck is quite expansive. It features its own jacuzzis that overlook the sides of the ship, including a nice forward-facing section. There's also the extra-cost private Vibe Beach Club with its own bar, or the public but adults-only Spice H2O. Another outdoor deck with its own movie screen in this really cool rock grotto. For chilling out beneath the shade, and dripping water action in a total resort atmosphere that definitely continues at the spa, salon, and fitness center with its lovely thermal suite observation lounge and pools. The salon is equally world-class, offering a wide variety of services. and the fitness center has plenty of equipment to go around. Plus weightlifting and aerobics. Those looking to get some onboard shopping done have several options as well. Including at the photo gallery. There's even a photo studio on board for custom portraits. At the heart of the ship is the atrium and guest services both a good social gathering space and area to receive assistance. It's also where you'll find the dedicated internet cafe. Also, the art gallery displays pieces that are up for auction and leads to a secondary chic atrium that accesses the escape casino that thankfully is set to receive an enclosed smoking area that will finally address the pesky proliferation of cigarette smoke beyond, which will make it easier to overlook the dated 1980s wall decor. The video arcade offers a kid-friendly alternative, with seemingly every game available. From air hockey to ski ball. And just next door is the Entourage Teen Lounge. A great dedicated space for activities such as lounging, or even dancing. And for the younger ones, the Splash Academy is an expansive facility. Full of color and plenty of room for all sorts of activities. The Guppy's Nursery features particularly playful interior design. A ship with so many activities is sure to have as many dining options. And the Norwegian Escape does not fail. The waterfront is a boardwalk promenade that features several al fresco venues, dining and bars included. Altogether, it's a great place to just lounge and take in the sea views, once away from port, of course. A new specialty restaurant forward of the waterfront is Food Republic by Pub Belly. An eclectic taste of international cuisine like these yummy bites. In a clean modern setting with iPad menus. On the other side of the ship is the District Brew House. A great casual setting for enjoying craft beers. From the Winwood Brewing Company and more. From on tap and in bottles. La Cucina is Norwegian's signature Italian restaurant. For traditional favorites in a traditional setting, including al fresco at the waterfront. New on escape is the Tobacco Road Liquor Bar. The shipboard setting for Miami's historic watering hole. And off to the side is a separate room with a cigar bar. Replacing the ice bar on the Norwegian Breakaway and Norwegian Getaway is the Cellars, a Michael Mandavi family wine bar. For wine tasting and wine education without any pretense. 
it's a very welcoming space. For a different kind of libation across the way is the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. A tropical atmosphere that extends to Bayamo by Jose Garces. A Latin seafood restaurant by the celebrity chef. There's even his adjacent Pincho Tapas Bar. For enjoying Spanish small plates. And for sweets, there's the Bake Shop and Dolce Gelato on the waterfront. For more elegant cuisine, the Prime Meridian Bar welcomes guests. Ahead of their meal at Cagney Steakhouse. Refined cuts of meat. Or Moderno Churrascaria. For Brazilian style carvings. And just downstairs is the Manhattan Room, a handsome complimentary main restaurant. With delicious items ranging from beef carpaccio to premium surf and turf and decadent bread pudding. Servicing the other complimentary main dining rooms with pre or post meal drinks is the Mix Bar. With the Savor restaurant on one side, kept very clean by its friendly servers. and the Taste Restaurant on the other. Complete with a nifty private room below. Rounding out the specialty restaurants is Le Bistro. For French cuisine and an elegant setting. And Teppanyaki. for hibachi-style Asian cuisine. For a quick snack and drink, the Atrium Cafe and Bar have you covered. And the Skyline Bar off from the Casino is another entertaining venue for drinks. Even though the concept is a facsimile of a mousy competitor, For other complimentary eats, the Oshian's Bar and Grill is another fun option. With its bonus gaming in view of the atrium screen. Plus its tasty food like nachos. And a classic Reuben sandwich. The Garden Cafe is another option for extensive buffet food. And an observation lounge of sorts with its great seating and fantastic views. Originally offered for free, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville at Sea now comes with a surcharge. Hopefully as a means to limit its abundant crowds. Food here includes the best nachos on board, savory pretzel sticks, and the classic cheeseburger in paradise itself. Also from Jimmy Buffett is the 5 o'clock somewhere bar. For tropical drinks and live music. And the fun doesn't end there. Joining dining and entertainment is the Supper Club. A venue with tasty food that is actually most known for its show, for the record, The Brat Pack. A musical celebration of John Hughes' 1980s movies. A show that has proven so popular that it is actually relocating to the main escape theater. where its great cast and story will be better served. 
while desserts will remain here. Stand-up aficionados will enjoy the Headliners Comedy Club. A perfect hole in the wall atmosphere for humor. And the main escape theater is the home for Broadway style production shows. The venue itself is pretty sparse, but shows like After Midnight are anything but. The live music and dancing energy are unmistakable, and in this sampler speak for themselves. Million Dollar Quartet is the ship's other main production show, but it's actually moving over to the Norwegian Getaway instead. Wherever its final home, the recreation of the evening that brought Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and Elvis Presley together to record is stunning. Just check out this sampler to see why. Thanks for watching! Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other Norwegian Cruise Line videos, and visit popularcruising.com and travelpulse.com.